This is Patriot of the Republic, Mike Warner, and I would like to address about this one topic that I'm going to talk about is regarding the People's Common Law Grand Jury. Uh, you can go to a website called nationallibertyalliance.org. You can read up on the People's Common Law Grand Jury. Uh, there's a lot of, a great deal of information to read. And you can also look at a good amount of videos that are posted up on nationallibertyalliance.org. And another way you can learn about this People's Common Law Grand Jury, you can go to, uh, you could read the uh, Commonwealth of Pennsylvania and their Constitution. And you could also read up on the U.S. Constitution. That is the common law of the land. And it's also to restore our Constitution Republic, to bring back this country the way it should be, and to restore the common law of the land. And I would like to explain how the Bar Association distorted and perverted their judiciary system and hijacked it. In 1946, they felt the, com the People's Common Law Grand Jury was no more of a use, and it was old and outdated. So they eliminated the People's Common Law Grand Jury locally throughout the whole entire country, and it would, and this would benefit, this would benefit every attorney, every district attorney, uh, public defender or any judge because they are associated with the Bar Association. And I would like to also add, the attorneys are the ones that write all the statutes and acts, no, the statutes and the ordinances on the local, county, and state level. And they also write the federal acts, which are not constitutional, which they're very unconstitutional, and they're not bound to the Declaration of Independence, or the Constitution, or the Bill of Rights. It, all what they're, what these attorneys and the Bar Association are doing when they write these so-called acts, or uh, ordinances, or statutes, it's, they're just writing that, writing these so-called laws to benefit them, not to be not to benefit we the people of the United States here in the United States. Um, if anyone wants to get involved with the People's Common Law Grand Jury or become a jurist, you could go to nationallibertyalliance.org, sign up as a co-coordinator for your prospective county anywhere in the United States or you could sign up for a Joris. This will bring the power back to we, to we the people, and it would help restore this constitutional republic within 30 days or less. We are in an economic down spiral. We are in a, uh, each time that you turn around, we're in some kind of a state of an emergency, or, Right now, the United States, the, the government is supposedly shut down. Well, we're not fully shut down at 100%. The United States government is only shut down for about 10%. That includes the U.S. military. And it's all due to the Obamacare Act, which is very unconstitutional, doesn't comply to the uh, constitutional law to the Constitution, the Bill of Rights, or the Declaration of Independence at all. That bill should be scrubbed from the uh, legislator, on the federal legislator. And if any uh, representatives here on the local area, I mean in the local area of Pittsburgh or Allegheny County or on the state level, or even on the federal level, enforces the Obamacare Health Act or the Affordable Health Care Act should be prosecuted and reprimanded and just to get rid of the uh, just to get rid of the uh, Health Care Act. Well this is Patriot of the Republic Mike Warren saying so long and goodbye for now. And also the least everyone. God bless.